not 31, I had a question coming out of section 4.1, number 13. And here we were asked to determine whether the equation given was a linear function. And when we're trying to figure out if something's linear, we're trying to figure out, does it fall into the format of y equals mx plus b? And now the equation they gave us was a negative of x minus 3 over 5 is equal to 2y. So there's a couple ways you can handle this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to distribute this negative to my numerator. So I'm going to make this negative x plus 3 over 5 equaling 2, oops, 2y. And then I'm going to divide that 5 out. So let me just change my pen color for a moment. I'm going to divide the 5 into the negative x and divide the 5 into the positive 3. So I'm looking at really negative 1 fifth x plus 3 fifths is equal to 2y. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 2. All right, the 2s are going to cancel. Whoa, let me shrink that just a bit. The 2s are going to cancel out on this side. Oops, and there we go. And I'm just going to write the y on the left side of the equation because that's usually where I like it. So then I have over here negative 1 tenth x because 1 fifth, or I should say negative 1 fifth divided by 2 is negative 1 tenth. And then if we have 3 fifths divided by 2, that's going to be plus 3 tenths. And if we take a look at that, sure enough, that is of the form mx plus b. So yes, it is a linear function. My slope is negative 1 tenth, and my y-intercept is 0 comma 3 tenths. All right, thanks so much. Bye.